This morning, the man wanted in connection with the shooting deaths of four Washington State police officers is wounded and possibly dead following a standoff outside the house where police believe he was hiding. Officers fired gunshots towards the house this morning. They also blared a loudspeaker at the home, trying to get the suspect to give himself up. The four officers were killed yesterday while sitting inside a Tacoma coffee shop. They've been identified as Ronald Owens, Greg Richards, Tina Griswold, and Sergeant Mark Reniger. Lara Yamada has the latest on the shooting and how the community is reacting. A horrific scenes inside this coffee shop in Lakewood. Police say four officers, part of a patrol team, were getting ready for their day. Laptops open, doing paperwork, when the gunman walked in, pretended to order a drink, then turned around and started shooting. Two of them were just flat executed, um, sitting, writing reports. One of them was stood up and tried to go for the suspect and got shot in a fourth one fought his way out to the parking lot. There were two baristas inside and a handful of customers, but no one else was hit, no one else was hurt. Police believe these officers, three men and one woman, were no question the targets. They say at least one of the officers was able to put up a fight before he too was shot dead. We believe the male officer managed to get out barely outside the coffee shop to the porch where the fight continued from inside to the outside. This has turned into a massive investigation. Dozens upon dozens of officers from surrounding agencies, leading to a long processional with a huge American flag erected overhead. People who live around here are trying to handle the chaos and overwhelming feelings of sadness and fear with four officers now gone. It's really hard on people. It's hard on the family. It's um, just got to pray for them, got to pray for the community, got to pray for the families of the officers. Police released this man's picture, Maurice Clemens. He is now being called a person of interest. Well, the person of interest is somebody who we've dealt with before, who has an assault three on a police officer, pending charges of rape of a child in the second degree, out on $150,000 bail. We can determine he has a robbery one conviction in Arkansas. Once again, police have surrounded a home where they believe the person of interest is hiding.